We're here at the Portage store, Canoe Lake, the beginning of the Brent run. For me and Benny. Things are busy. Almost no parking in the parking lot. We expect to run into lots of other campers who will be settling in for the evening while we are busting our asses. That is correct. Moving through the wilderness. Lake and a little Joe Lake. We need some river travel. Camel pack on the way too. Due to high water, we took some advice and skipped the portage on our way up the creek, heading to Little Joe Lake. Unfortunately, when we hit the other end of the portage, we thought it was a new one. So we exited the creek and then headed left, backtracking all the progress we'd just made. On Little Joe Lake, Ranger County. We are moving from uh, Little Joe Lake to Joe Lake, which is going to be a small little trip, and then we're getting into uh, Burn Island Lake after that. Jeff Gon's on the canoe. Woo! We're making good time. We're a little over an hour in, and we're already through the first two lakes. This would be the second time another group had led us in the wrong direction. As we were heading out of Little Joe Lake towards the Burnt Island Portage, we followed this guy up this narrow creek. We all knew that it probably wasn't the portage, but when we reached its terminus, we had no choice but to exit and bushwhack through. Luckily, it did lead us to the main trail. The real portage was located just to the left. You can see on our track, we did manage to hit it on the way back.
route here on Burnt Island Lake. This is coming through the narrows between some islands, which opens up into the major part of the lake. We're on bearing of 38 degrees, headed towards the next portage. We're heading into the uh, water slide lakes after this. We're here on uh, the tail end of Burnt Island Lake. This is the portage. Finally, it seems like forever getting here. This is definitely uh, a little hole. You couldn't see it, lots of bays. Burn out of the little water slide. Nice following wind the whole way. That time in the day, bright moisture in the air, starting to feel the bugs coming out on that portage. It is a tough thing when you're uh, carrying the canoe and your hands are tied and you can't swat the bugs away. But this is Little Otter Slide Lake, and he would not know that the wind is even blowing here, considering we were just surfing waves over on. Crazy. Yeah. So, pretty nice. We're out here on some unknown island, um, just off Red Pine Lake. We just stopped for a bite and uh, get some dry clothes on for the night paddle. It's gonna be a, definitely a challenge out here navigating at night. But uh, I think we're up for it. We'll just have to take our time, go slow, and make sure we know where we are at all times. We're doing some night nav. Moon's to our rear. Moon is on the west side, it appears. I don't know if I'm going to get a haircut. Maybe I'm just going to let it keep going. Wow. Well, getting crazy. I never thought I'd, I always have an identity crisis. I can never let my hair get long. But my one son has long hair. Callum. So now I find it like, I, I, like I'm like kind of like him, you know? Like we're... People. People say it suits me. Um, this young girl said I look 27. I know, I was pretty good. Since November, probably. She was too long, but long enough. Oh, we're just heading through the portage of the Cedar Rapids. Pitch black. Don't even know if we're on the trail anymore. Think we're still on the trail? Benny? Okay. I can hear the rapids. Oh. Thing. There's you at the portage on the Petawawa River. Benny's up there with the canoe. It's about midnight. It's actually 12.30. Probably. And we're just working our way towards dawn. And I'm going to tell you, I can't wait to get there. 
We've got 17 kilometers left to go to the bread store. And I'm telling you, this is a juggernaut. I don't recommend doing this to anybody. Even if you, especially if you like canoeing, because you probably won't like it after doing this. narrow bag. We're just getting the last portage done for the big 200 kilometer one. Ready? Yeah. Are you good from here? Flipped. Oh shit, a road. High water. Reroute. Follow road. Turn left off the bridge. Two kilometer portage. It's about three forty in the morning, almost four o'clock. Still feeling strong. Still pushing towards the halfway mark for this thankless, gut wrenching challenge. Getting any type of sleep with all these mosquitoes. Yeah. I'm. I got my heart set on that island with all the. Oh, is that a couple of mooses again up here? I got my heart set on that island. The wind. We're here making our final crossing to the town of Brent, where we're going to get our picture beside the Brent store. It's been a long time coming. This competition is definitely tough, if not impossible. We'll see if we finish. We're here finally at the Brent store. It's all closed up, of course. Nobody's around, but uh, yeah. This is it. They charge a $50 no return for the safety kit. So I hope that they know we didn't get our safety kit. <laughs> oh. 
All right, that's it. Now we're on our way back. 80 uh, kilometers to go. This one took, this one was, uh, we were 89 getting here. So we're hoping to shave a little bit off on the way back. Let's do this. Oh, here we are back on the trail again. Oh, back on the two kilometer plus portage. Oh, we were thinking we were going to camp at the end of it. But now we're having second thoughts. We think we're just going to push straight through. I really hope it's a good idea. Paddling out in the lake, it just gets so monotonous. You start falling asleep out there. The portages are what keeps you awake. those guys who went by us today come like come right out and go hey guys Thank you.